in fact, Parramatta won the opening match, the corresponding match of uh, 1997. You remember when we started our Optus Cup telecasts way, way back into about March or April. So the Bears and Parramatta doing battle again. They're both on cue for the quarterfinals with uh, North Sydney second, Parramatta sixth on the table. And Parramatta have won their last five. They're aiming for six in a row tonight, the first time since 1982 that they've achieved that success rate. North Sydney incident. And Aaron Rapers is getting shorter. The Not such a bad crowd in uh, for you people out of Sydney. The temperatures have dropped dramatically here during the day. Middle line. Soden looking to the right. Comes on the left with a scoop from Dummy Half. Tries to run to Nigel Roy's wing. They don't put him away. They're going to have to clean that up. Taylor gets it on. Fairley's got his third touch. Florimo on load. Eichen's going for the corner. Eichen for the corner. No try. The corner post is gone. Well, didn't he show some speed, Ben Eichen? Some good offloads there in the North Sydney build up for that. It was nearly a try. The hand goes out and he gets the ball down. But into touch. So oh, that's a tight call. Take him to ground. And what a battle between the two number sevens as well. So instrumental in their team's chances tonight. Dummy from Butner, it's fallen for him, takes it over the 40. Great run by Michael Butner, but the support fell off him. And they're on the halfway line, the Bears. Taylor looking for players to work off him, and McCracken comes in and smashes him. Soden there, coming back on the left, across the face of Larson, picking up more, then back for Larson. Larson away towards Raper and Johnston. They put him down. On the 30 metre line, Optus Cup, with uh, the split round con continuing, the second half of the first split round. Flow him over Fairley. Fairley gets a pass inside. Ah, it hit Matt Sears right on the chin. Well, that could have nearly been try time. They're looking dangerous, aren't they, North Sydney? The perimeter of the fence early is uh, it's not too robust. And this ball fairly gets the, makes the break. The inside ball, right off his noggin. Well, Kraken to set himself and run up the line. The Kraken has got it exactly where they want it. Centre of the ground. Raper then with hand signals to the right. Going off to the left. Simon Dummies puts in there. Oh, one of the perimeter players taken out in back play. And he's got his hands in the air, Jason Bell, saying, did anybody see it? Or are we heading for Gibbon Beeman? And Manson went to the touch judge and asked the question, who did it come off? Is anyone impeded? Yeah, Jason Bell got knocked for six. But they've overcome that, and now they're, they're mixing it with North Sydney. They're going blow for blow as he Simon puts on. the ball up in the air. Nigel Roy gets underneath it, makes a knock on of it. Manson will call the knock on and does. Nigel Roy says, you're joking. Well, he was facing backwards or sideways. And the ball initially sort of went forward and came back. And he's a long way away, Manson. First try, is it coming? First tackle, gone. Simon, angling for pay. Pay running in to Butner. Takes that tackle, gets it to Carriage. Carriage to Raper. Raper to Simon. Simon across for Demi. Dummies to Johnston, takes them on, tries to crack them. That was touched, I think, by the Bears. It's with Navali. Navali goes for the line. He's over, but he's held up. Oh, great play from Parramatta. And Jim Dimmick, the strength of the man. And here's Navali going for the line. Plenty of Bears there. He's into a trap and couldn't get it down. Yeah, Mark Soden there, a ball and all tackle. They really held their line well, North Sydney. And again, Jason Bell feeding the scrum, looking to utilise his speed from the scrum base. Although they've got a very good back line set, nice and deep with plenty of width. So Parramatta really a glut of possession, and Bell goes across, and Carriage comes in again, beats one, two, looks for the line, he's only a metre away. Now Nathan Barnes in 14, a dummy half, they go left again. Simon, Simon turns, tries to turn it back but takes the tackle and it was a good tackle over the top there from David Fairley. Now from Raper, passes for Demick, 
Demick in one hand takes it to the line and goes backwards a couple of metres before being put down. Raper again there. They're five metres out and they've had the ball, it seems, for an eternity. Johnston is down. He's two metres from the line. As Raper again from dummy half. Unloads on the left, a high pass. Simon, then for Jason Smith. And then they've got the pass away they were looking for. And Stuart Kelly goes in, puts the ball down, and the first try is there for Parramatta. They had a lot of possession, Parramatta, and it was a good straight running of Stuart Kelly, who was another player who impressed on Wednesday night in a short stint. That scores the try. They go wide, they've got plenty of numbers out there. He frees it there. You can see Kelly coming straight. He's got Brett Dallas in two minds. And as the ball is delivered, Kelly has run straight into the hole. Michael Butner just stretched the arms out. It was just very good hole running here from Stuart Kelly and it'll show up perfectly from front on. And you'll see Michael Butner also come in, got sucked in by the decoy who was Bell. Although, you know, you're only 10 metres out from your own line, you can't afford to make mistakes. And the Queensland boys have put one on. Save them up, boys. Save them for Melbourne. Down by the North Sydney hooker, Mark, uh, Mark Soden. On the last tackle now, Simon to kick. Decides to put it through his hands. No, he was able to take the tackle, beat the tackle. Got it away for Demick. Demick's looking on the inside. Picks up carriage. He puts the kick in. The weight on it is perfect. And Taylor's back there. Can he get it back, Taylor? And I, I don't think so. Well, the referee is saying that he only got it back as far as the line, on the line, and that's not good enough. Jim Demick there has caught one in the mouth. Good option to run the football on the last there, and the kick from Carriage was a beauty. Taylor did very well to cover back there. And Carriage, in fact, makes the tackle after putting the kick through. And Jason Taylor, who's blown up two decisions in a row now, both gone against him. And uh, Justin Morgan has gone on, Peter, I think, has he not? He has, for Peter Johnson. The Parramatta continue with this domination of field the majority of the uh, domination in field possession, and here they are 10 metres out from the North Sydney line. Away now from Simon. Dean Pay running, and the ball going to ground. Was it touched? This is Morgan, and Justin Morgan is down about seven metres out from the line. Is there more pro problems coming here for North Sydney? As Bell chimes in, gets a call from McCracken on the inside, and McCracken to ground. He's eight metres away from the line. Simon sees a gap, goes himself, goes for the line. He's over the line, and Simon picks up Parramatta's second try. A lot of pressure being applied by the Eels, and they're converting it into points now, and that's the important thing. And Johnny Simon, he's just caught them napping here. He goes to Dummy Hub, he frees it there. You can see the North Sydney players very slow off the line, and all he does is put in the sidestep as play continues beats that man and carries one over so a very simple try but really the plays leading up to that one has got Simon across yeah, one the, side step and the markers weren't really alert fairly should as soon as he stepped he should have been on him fairly but he's a good player John Simon played very very well the other night for New South Wales and he's having a, a blinder tonight early in the match yeah, Jason Taylor coming this fortunately for Parramatta he did because he was away so here's a chance now starting to unfold for the Bears. And Eichen tried to flick a ball out the back. It's play on for Dallas, but they lost some ground as they did momentum. Soda coming away on the open side. Fairly angles back to the blind. Butner got a shocking pass. Again, they lose ground. It's a disjointed attack from North Sydney. And Dallas is in trouble out there. A troublesome ankle. Again, playing up. He's on his haunches and has been three tackles. Paul Gordon's gone white. 38 metres away from the line there. Taylor looking to run around Florimo. Florimo goes back for Taylor now. Then it goes on for Eichen, having made the extra man. Eichen channels back in. And he's put down about 18 metres out. Tackle number five. And into dummy half goes Matt Sears. The play the ball slowed down as long as they could by Parramatta. Taylor puts the kick in. Into that far corner. Getting under it is Guerrero. There's the bat down. It comes down in the direction. I think it's Butner. It's Dallas who's done well because you can see he's in trouble there. Yeah, they've got to bring him off, give him a rest. The about. turnover has been ordered. For 12 days. Stepper, he's pulled down 10 metres out from the line. And the Eels threatening for a third time in the game. 
Simon, long ball, Smith's out in the centres, looking for Kelly, looking for Carriage, and Carriage gets a pass away. Wereff got the job to do. I think he might have made it. No, the touch judge has waved him into touch. Well, so close. Again, bullet passing from Jason Smith. Carriage did well to catch it and get this ball away. There you can see the winger, Dallas. And Shane Wereff tries to put the move on Jason Taylor. And he's tackled just short and loses the football. Great cover there from Taylor and Florimo. They look slick tonight, and, the, and as you said, those guys are doing a tremendous job. David Hall then put down right in front of you, big fella. And then it's away from, uh, is that Caruana on in 14? Taylor puts in a kick, tries to upset the Parramatta defensive line. Got to do something about it. Oh, big chase there from Butner. Carriage was able to get away. He wasn't held in goal, apparently didn't force the ball either. And he's back 10 metres out from his own line. It was a great chase. As Williams hits the line. Danny Williams, 10 metres out from the line. Away now for Taylor. Then he gives it on for Florimo. Butner comes in from the back. Larson did well. David Hall is with it, but held by Navali. Five tackles gone. Away then from Caruana. It's with Taylor. Taylor goes for the kick. Out to the outskirts. Up they go. Good Dallas. Dallas, has he got the ball down? In goal, Judge has got the call. Referee Manson looks at the touch judge and he gives a try. Uh, great work, Greg Dallas. He probably shouldn't even be out there, you know. Gutsy effort from him. Some good play from North Sydney. Some great hands on this side of the field. And then Taylor, he targets where it. They get one on one. And Dallas simply outleaped him. Stuart Kelly trying to come in and help Shane Werrick to stop the ball being forced down. But as has been pointed out by the players this year, really, in this type of situation with the kick, all the aces are with the chasing team. They've got the momentum. They can get up a little bit higher. He had to wrestle the football out of the hands of Shane Werrick. And Brett Dallas, he's really done that on one leg. Well, that's been a, a great jump by Brett Dallas, considering that he, he is working with uh, one ankle, the other one. Such an important time now for both teams into the final five minutes of the first half. That side's done well. Aaron Raper spins out of a tackle. Wide pass to Ware. Well, that battle over on the far side of the ground between Werrett and Dallas continues. Simon goes for long range drop goal. The referee's got a good sight on it. He it. likes He's it. The hand it. goes up. So they paid a visit and they came back with something. Yeah, clever work there from John Simon. He took North Sydney by surprise because they didn't expect him to take a long range attempt despite the fact it's only 32 out but it was from a wide angle. Seven points. Psychologically that, that's a good blow to deliver before the break. So two of the very good sides in the Optus Cup wrestling here at uh, Bear Park tonight. And both of them feeling the wounds of last Wednesday. Of course, North feeling it a bit more than Parramatta because they've been asked to make a lot more tackles. Oh, great ball from John Simon on his own line. That's confidence. Played at the moment, this is David Fairley. Centre of the ground, 40 metres out from his own line. Sowed in a way for Larson to give it back on the inside for Trindle. And oh, the Parramatta player is hurt. Uh, it's Aaron Raper. And Soden gets a one-hander away. Taylor realised there might be an opportunity with only 12 in the defence line. And Sears comes up to dummy half. He drives it back down for Carriage. And Carriage comes back and outside the 30 play. On the 40 metre line, Raper, a little dummy, and then Simon, now Dimmick, then Carriage, Barnes angling in, Barnes taken by Taylor underneath, Moore over the top, and they're on the 20 metre line on tackle five. Simon goes across, this time he's looking for Werrett and for Kelly, Dallas got Dallas, well this is interesting because Kelly, or rather Werrett, he looked like he might have been taken without the ball. He put up almost a silent protest. Well, he did have his hands on it, and Butner was entitled to make the tackle. 
Yeah, great start to the second half by Parramatta. And once again, it's Dimmick, Simon and, and Co. who are running right in, around close to the rucks. Number 15, Troy Campbell gets onto the field. Raper, who was uh, knocked down earlier, is having a little rest. But yeah, I'm impressed with this uh, pool carry. It's the first time I've had a good look at him all season. Uh, he's been playing fullback, which is out of position for him, but he's done everything right. Uh, and he's a Queensland. Billy Moore, and then Taylor, Eichen, Nigel Roy, Navali drifting across in defence, and then Eichen back on the inside. On the 40 metre line, North Sydney's own end of the park as Fairley goes up, runs into Johnston, turns it back for Trindle, and they're losing ground in possession and losing possession at the same time. Manson's going to put a scrum down. He looked at both touch judges to see if it had been raked out. I can't understand why it wasn't play on there. If he didn't get a decision that it, it should have been a penalty. What's happened, Pete? I think he's missed it. He was looking at the defensive line. He doesn't know what, what has happened here. It's gone backwards, no doubt about it. There's no knock on. Unless a Parramatta player knocked it on. But no, he's, the Parramatta have got the feed. So yeah, they've Matt, had a bit of luck. Matt Sears is, is saying that Jason Smith raked the football out. Jason Bell again feeding the scrum back inside the carriage. Draping around the legs was Billy Moore. He is over the top, so the fullback is up. Dimmick runs at the line, and he's 22 metres out. Playing it back now for Troy Campbell, and he will make a fine deputy for Raper. McCracken going down the short side on the right of the ground. Campbell looking for Simon. Simon's with it. No kick across through the hands. Payback for Bell. A cutout ball for Kelly. Kelly quickly for Werrett. Werrett's over. Where it's in in the corner. Parramatta gets their third try. 17 to 6. And beautifully constructed. One side of the field or the other. A couple of decoy plays. You've got forwards out there who can play in the back line like Dean Pay. And the, the decoy man is important here. As we freeze play there, you can see the fact that Paul Carriage has got involved. This man here, that occupies Michael Butner for a little while. And as play continues, Already Stuart Kelly was on the outside. That enables Werrett to get on the outside of Dallas. That's not an easy thing to do. A lovely try. But men off the football have opened it up for the players of the carriers of the football. I still got to say, I think Norse read it pretty well, Pete. But Werrett on Dallas, speed man on speed man. And I'll tell you what, just there, where it looks at Dallas and says, got you. Yeah, it's a great contest. And, uh, here it is again. From the camera basically on that corner post. I thought for a moment Kelly might have passed a touch too early, so where it really had to go. Back at Norse in the oval and a shallow restart by the Bears, Dean Pay. He moved in very quickly cleaned up what could have been a dangerous situation just in front of the break Paramount. Jason Bell calling for the ball on the left of the ruck he's with it and then unloads for Morgan his pass has gone straight over the sideline so a few blemishes in the game from Parramatta that's one of them I reckon he's seen Justin Morgan who's Troy Campbell standing on the sideline. Actually, Morgan throws it. Campbell was standing on the sideline. I might have thought he was in the field of play. Just next to the touch he is. This part of their game tonight. Uh, I think hitting out of the head, Paul, with the torpedo kind of kick does swing around in the breeze a lot more. And that's what's causing problems. Just the, the way that the ball travels. Taylor there. Holding it back and getting the ball off for Larson. Then it goes away off the boot of North Sydney. Oh, Taken in by Parramatta, but it's a penalty. Ten minutes for Stuart Kelly. Very silly play. He had the speed to cover. He's really put his team under all sorts of pressure for the next ten minutes. Good option to run the football on the last. Gary Larson taking the ball, kicking it through. Stuart Kelly, Stuart Kelly took a chaser out, and I, I don't think he needed to. Interesting decision this one, not to kick for goal. Well, they got 12 men 
against them and they're going in to score oh. from the first play. Oh, Parramatta have gone dozy dozy. 14 has scored, Chris Caruana, look at them, they're pumped up now. How easy was this? Well, have you seen a simpler try? This is the sin bin. Good ball on the outside. The kick through from Gary Larson. You can see there that Shane Warrant was, was in great position to cover anyway. Stuart Kelly really, no need to do that. The ease of this, is it, it's incongruous with the game. The game's been tougher than that. Yeah, ironically, that was the, the side where Stuart Kelly's been defending, but that's no excuse to be one man short there because they, they numbered up perfectly. It was two on two, and Carolina says, get that in the air. He's a bit of a larrick in this Chris Caruana. Well, he had his bum through a hole last night in the footy show. <laughs> and he probably knows Jason Bell. Jason Bell, of course, played at North Sydney, and they might have been battling for... A golfing ability. Played by Bell, back for Raper, then for Simon. Now Dimmick. Dimmick angling off the right foot, trying to find a gap and promote on the inside. Oh, this might bring a penalty. No, Manson said play on, and Raper puts the kick in. Parramatta's chasing it oh. down the left. Again, it's been allowed to bounce. And North Sydney had it, lost it. Dimmick. It'll be a double knock on. Double knock on, and a scrum will pack. See, that ball is being allowed to bounce, Paul. Well, can you believe it? I, I don't know what the story is out there. That was a simple kick from Raper. Ten metres out from the line. Raper there, looking at the blind side. There's three over there, but they come on the open side for Campbell. And Campbell is a metre from the line. And anxious to give them a quick play, the ball, Raper goes back to the stack, blind side, Barnes is over! Barnes is over! Another try for Parramatta! And put this one down to the vision of Aaron Raper. We saw a soft try at the other end of the field for Chris Caruana. North Sydney, well, they'll be livid with this one because they just didn't get the troops there. We freeze play there. You can see that Aaron Raper has realised that this man here is the widest. If he can get a wide pass out, as he does, there's space to score a try. And there's the pass delivered. A little bit of strength there from Nathan Barnes, but even the tackle from Nigel Roy, he was that far infield, there was never a chance of putting him into touch. Yeah, but still, G had to make the tackle, didn't he? Soft tries, all right. I reckon that one will get Parramatta home, and Stuart Kelly, he'll be either probably in, inside the dressing room, would have just got the message they scored. He'll breathe a huge sigh of relief. <laughs> Times they've got to go down there and visit. So if he can do this, he's going to make it very difficult. From the touchline. And he's made a mess of it. Way, way out in front. No luck there for John Simon, but Parramatta, they're having plenty of it themselves. 21. Probably an appropriate thing to be talking about this week, climbing mountains. And of course, uh, that's been lost of its own accord, or he has certainly put the, the blame on William Lation. Legitimate tackle, he didn't secure the ball. Reserve grade tonight went to, or should I say second grade, to use the right terminology, as Larson comes off, 30 points to 14. 30 to 14 in favour of the Bears. The under-20s went to the Parramatta side, 18 to 10 as they win the scrum. Bell goes down. Oh, Bell's gone straight up the middle. They've got him in cover. He does that so often, Bell. He'd love to have a couple of more metres of pace. Horsnell. Horsnell is about uh, 15 metres out from the line, and they 25% more tackles than the opposition. You wouldn't be keen to put your oh, hand in shot. into your wallet. Jason Smith, what a tackle that was. Now, Stuart. 41 out, fifth tackle, Taylor, kicking, taken out legitimately, and then John Simon comes away with it after North Sydney were allowed amazingly to get another kick on it. Oh, matter a bit standoffish there. This is Navali. The Raper is coming back. And now Carriage, picked off from side on by Florimo. You might have heard David Manson 
Suggest to the man playing the ball to pick the ball up with you. They kick ahead. They got the numbers. It's a foot race. Who's going to make it? Oh, Shane Wirrett. There's no contest. Shane Wirrett. He's going to win in most foot races that he contests. Well, he had a little bit of a head start, but it was great work on the inside. Dean Pate. He busted them up. He found Jason Smith on the inside. Dean Pate just takes the ball forward. He's so strong. Back inside to Jay Smith. Now just have a look as he goes line and we freeze it there. You can see that he's already looked across to see where the outside chases are. As play continues, he gets it away. And well, he didn't have a head start, did he? He just had a little bit of a fly, Shane, where it... Again, beautifully constructed, but just have a look at Jason Smith, how well he reads the situation. Yeah, it's the best game I've seen Jason play this season, that's for sure tonight. His defence is great, the big hit a minute ago on David Hall, and here he is now setting up a try. Look at him. Look at Jason laying back down there 50 yards away, watching where it scored the try from his good work. As Dean Pay plays it back, Raper comes across, a long ball, Smith is there again, off the shoulder of Kelly, Dallas is on it, and Dallas, I fancy, is hurt. Brett Dallas is injured. So Carl Lovell has cleaned him up. Michael Butner claiming it was high. Running the football in the last tackle over the shoulder of Stuart Kelly. Rick Dallas picks it up, then runs into a brick wall. I don't see too much wrong with the tackle. Well, his head did rock back there for half a second. He might have caught one with the referee who's there on the spot. He's seen something. With us at the moment, those of them in the fig tree rugged up as uh, they bring one of the superstars of the game from the park. No sense in him continuing 25 to 10 and obviously contest. Now, Nigel Roy is in some space and away goes David Hall. Run down and put down by Carl Lovell. Not a mean trick, I'll tell you. David Hall, very quick. Lovell giving him a start and catching him. In the Nokia $1,000 Man of the Match award. And quite a few contenders, I suppose, for it tonight. Including Simon and Dimmick, Pay and Smith. As Soden rolls it into the end goal and uh, the shallowness of that. Campbell and Dimmick making the tackle. Soda holding it, getting it away just before he went to ground. Fairly back. Iker across. Taylor. 14 was Kanawana. Florimo, a catch and pass. Nigel Roy. He's down to the 30 metre line. Still going. Parramatta eventually ending his progress just outside the 20 metre line. And then across from Moore for Taylor. Taylor on for Eichen. Eichen, uh, the ball went backwards and then beautifully done by Soden for Fairley. Fairley, a flick pass. Ah, oh, Butner will score. Butner scores right on full time. What about Fairley? <laughs> it was a corker. There was somebody else did something here that was quite fantastic as well. An amazing football there for the Bears. They won't get too much satisfaction out of it. It's just a late flurry, but... Marvellous work here, cut out pass, went astray, that one there, but Mark Soden, beautiful catch and pass, and David Fairley, the big flick pass, straight out to Michael Butner, who ran diagonally to the line to beat Paul Carriage, spectacular stuff, just a little bit too late for the home team. Yeah, nice way to finish with a try I suppose, but uh, they've been outplayed tonight, this will give them some confidence for the next game I would imagine, but... Uh, Parramatta just ran out of troops in the end. Lovell has been playing on the wing the last five or ten minutes. Defending out there, out wide, and where it couldn't put it, neither could Carriage with Butner. Taylor from the touchline. The Bears are closest to that touchline. Realising that that was also the end of the game when uh, Michael Butner scored the try.